annual Valentine's Day dance. When like those famous swallows of San Juan Cappuccino, the alumni of Bronson A return to the roost. And since this Valentine's finds us without any special someones, my best and I are attending with each other as our dates. I mean, it's the holiday of love. Who do we love more than each other? See ya! Bye! Hey, just because we came together doesn't mean we couldn't leave with someone new. I.e. Butch and Fun Pants. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but noticing you across the room. Oh, my God. <sighs> Damn that Viagra. Leave me alone. Would you, by chance, have a relative named Agnes? Well, I used to have an Aunt Agnes, but after her Swedish vacation, she became my Uncle Frank. No, the Agnes I'm looking for would be about my age. We were high school sweethearts. The resemblance between the two of you. Here, uh, see for yourself. Hmm, she is a little me-ish. <laughs> I was so hoping she'd be here. Kyle, bring the car around. I'm afraid we're leaving. Right away, Mr. Alcott. Alcott? As in Bronson Alcott. The guy the school is named after? The same. Isn't he one of, like, the richest men in the world and one of the loneliest time out tell me you just said lonely yeah he may be worth billions but uh money can't buy you love now that right there is why you are a chauffeur she is Just leave without giving me the pleasure of one little dance, are you? Oh, I'm sorry, I really must be No, come be going. on, don't be a party pooper. Uh, no, pun intended. Well, perhaps one dance will kill me. No pun intended. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yummy a lummy. Who knew their school had such a vintage selection of student bodies? <laughs> Tonight. Man, we well, forget them material girls, cause we about to get into the groove. Hippie chicks? Man, get real. Besides, those name tags say class of 89. That's old enough to be my grandma. You don't see your grandma do that? Only when she walks too close to the microwave. Sean, check it. Hippie chicks are all peace and love, with a heavy accent on the love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Share that boy is so you. Go for it. It was a dual sightage. I insist you have first dibs. Although I appreciate the selflessness, I insist it be you, really. Really? Okay, thanks. I'll take him. You will? No. Look, we both want him, so there's only one mature way to handle this. Coin toss. Whoever wins gets Mr. Wonderful. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. Call him the air. Agnes is one in a million. 
beautiful, she's funny, and oh so smart. Please, letting you get away? Come on, Bronski, you're a catch. And whether you are 18 or 81, a catch always remains a catch. I'm blushing. Oh, thank God. I thought you were having a stroke. <laughs> Tiffany, this is Dagmar. Uh, Sean and Murray. <laughs> Your movement suggests that you have an enormous spiritual energy. It's noticeable? I bet you just love to meditate. Hey, my health teacher said it was completely age appropriate. Sean, she said meditate, man. It means think deeply. Oh, no, I've never done that. <laughs> Often that we meet kindred spirit. Where? I feel like I've known you guys all my past lives. Except when I was a lab rat. That was brutal. Word up. We really should do this again sometime. Well, hey, just name the time and place. And... Next Saturday, noon, Angeles National Forest. Uh, what's there? Let's just say we'll transcend the shackles of the physical plane and experience sheer and utter ecstasy. So then, peace. Peace. I'll be taking an old Pasadena on that, thank you. Oh, what? Sean, will you wake up and smell the patchouli? Transcending physical shackles. Sheer and utter ecstasy. Do you have any idea what they're talking about? I'm about to get slapped again, aren't I? Hey, Sean. They're talking about the same thing we're always talking about. Swimming with dolphins? Okay. The same thing I'm always talking about. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Screw it. Between the lack of odor eaters and that peacock big Matilda skirt, I give up on this coin. Next. Look, why don't we just bid our dream boy adieu? For it was simply not meant to be. Or not. Oh my god, send in the clones. Oh, they're like human ding-dongs, two to a pack. No fighting. Mm -mm. Oh wait, breath check. Oh. Doritos. Hello. Oh. My turn. <sighs> oh look, the two airheads are giving each other a refill. <laughs> oh, but where are my manners? Ladies, this is Bronson Alcott. Can we say Alcott? Nice to meet you. Amber, dear, if you'll excuse me for a moment. The Tokyo markets are about to open, and I have to make a quick trade. Uh, do any of your parents work for Sony? Good. Mm. Oh, Bron, Bron. <laughs> How cute is he? How sick are you? What? Amber, leave him alone. He's a sweet, kind, nice old man. You forgot Rich. And you forgot your mind. And get a load of this. That's right, my little envious ones. Bronson Alcott, the multi-gazillionaire, just asked me to marry him. Life with Amber has more twists and turns than Tim Allen driving home from happy hour. Is she seriously considering becoming Bronson Alcott's awful wedded wife? Hopefully the cold light of day has snapped her back to reality. Buongiorno, Pellegrino, Laura San Giacomo. Arrivederci, Slatellini. Oh, does Bronny know how to show a girl a good time or what? <laughs> private jets, an Italian villa, and a personal fitting with Giorgio Armani. Ooh. And always the perfect gentleman. <laughs> oh, but I'm sorry. Now, how was your weekend? Any new combos at Denny's? All right, Jezebel of the ball. You've had your fun. Now it's time to cease and desist. That's right. Drop the shovel, gold digger. So I guess this would be a bad time to ask you to be my maids of honor. You told him yes? Actually, we were over French airspace at the time, so I told him, Oui, oui, Monsieur Mani. 
mega oi. What did your parents say? <gasps> ooga ooga. What? They're trekking through the wilds of New Guinea, and it was all I could get out of this lame local chieftain who was worried about the phone stealing his soul or something. Look, Amber, you can do what you want, but Cher and I will not be a part of this match made in hell. <sighs> Fine. Cousins Ashley and Audrey would be happy to be my maids of honor. All I have to do is find out which city their carnival is in. Woo! In a week, Amber will be out of our lives forever. Dear. You know we can't let her go through with this. I know. I just had so much fun saying it. God. Poker shells. Guarantee a bountiful harvest. This is an amethyst. Now it's supposed to bring harmony, joy, and calmness to your colon. That thing ain't getting anywhere near my tushy. Shh. I'm not sure if I'm ready to take that hike. Man, will you relax? Shh. Aren't you supposed to be studying, dog? Mr. Alcott, as our father founding, you deserve to know the truth. Mr. A, I, I, I am so sorry. I tried to stop them. It's all right. These ladies go to high school with my fiance. Mr. Alcott, did, did you fall in the tub again? Would you like to be unemployed again? Now, everyone, please, just please give this a moment. I'm going to take a wild guess that you ladies came here to tell me something. It's about Amber. You see, she's... Really marrying you for my money? You know? My dear, one doesn't become this wealthy being a moron. I've had more fun with Amber in the past 72 hours than I've had in my past 72 years. But still, don't you think you and Amber together is... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more wrong to spend the rest of my life alone? I went to the Valentine's Day dance, searching for my Agnes, and apparently, like everyone else I've ever loved, she's gone. At least with Amber, she's here and now. And it would mean the world to me if you'd reconsider and be her maids of honor. We'd be honored. Wonderful. you excuse me now? I have a wedding to get ready for. People! Feel free to let yourselves out. Cher, did you fall down in the tub? We can't be a part of this madness. Dee, we have to be a part of it if we're going to stop it. Oh. And I just figured out how. Anything? Nothing. Oh, we're running out of time. I know, but there's still a chance. And if not, there will be a whole new meaning to the term senior year. I never thought these words would leave my lips. But Amber, you look beautiful. Shut up! Excuse me? PMS? Yeah. Premarital second thoughts. What's going on? I have visualized this moment. 
Me, all dressed in white, and him with his millions and his walker. And now I'm overcome with this weird, yucky feeling. What is it? Your conscience. My what? Look, since I've gotten to know him, Bronson is like the sweetest little guy in the world. He deserves so much more than a loveless marriage of inconvenience. Then call it off, it's not too late. Oh, Cher. Dear, naive, IQ of a houseplant, Cher. I can't leave Bronson standing at the altar. It would break his heart. Literally. You don't know that. It's not uncommon for the groom to get cold feet. Please, Bronson has had cold feet since the Nixon years. But let's leave his circulatory problems out of this. Oh, I started out marrying Bronson for his money. And now I'm marrying him because not to would be cruel. God, I hate this new word. What is it again? Conscience. Yes. Hate it. Scared? Petrified. <laughs> and not in the way that comes in handy if you catch my driftwood. <laughs> Wait, before we go any further, perhaps you should remove your shoes. It's starting. Hey, uh, as unbelievable as this may sound, we're new to this. No, there's no need to be afraid. The last guys we brought here, they liked it so much, they did it over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> What were their names again? You know, I never got their names. Huh. <laughs> 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 you strong. I thought this plan was foolproof. So did I. Poor Amber. Poor Bronson. Dearly beloved, we are gathered on this most special day to join this man and woman in the bonds of holy matrimony. <laughs> to you, Bronson Adeoshin Alcott, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. I do. And to you, Amber, Princess, Marians, Take this man to be your lawful wedded husband. I... Um... Um... Branson! Agnes? Agnes. Saint Agnes. Hey, who's the babe? This confirms it. There's nothing you can't find on the internet. <laughs> Agnes, darling, where in the world have you been? Hey, kids. I've got a kooky idea. Let those wedding bells ring. Uh, Amber, the diamond. Bronzy, it's stuck. Oh, that's all right. That's a copy. The real one's in the vault. Here, take. Oh, my mistake. This is the real one. Gotcha. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, I'm still available for adoption, you know. Amber, I'll never forget you. And I'll never forget you, Bronzy. Have a great life. You too. Do you see what I see? Only if you're seen double. Oh. Oh my God, it's the three lusted tears. Now we have a spare in case we break one. <laughs> <laughs> or one for Amber. Aren't they a little young for you? 
they're Bronson's grandsons. Biceps and billions? Let's boogie! <sighs> okay, but I get the cute one. Whatever. Are you ready to explore the metaphysical plane? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Firewalk? That's what's gonna expand our consciousness? Hey, look, incense and peppermint? We didn't come here to saute our toes. So thank you and good night. Bummer. We really thought you dudes were enlightened. Well, we really thought you girls were gonna get naked. Oh, we are! That's how we celebrate after the firewalk. On a nude beach. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs>